And one thing in our lives we are all guaranteed is change. One Middle Tennessee woman not only met it head on, but embraced it. Our Cole Johnson headed to Tennessee Tech as she continues this new season of her life. The pages of a resume act like a map of someone's life. And Michelle Nieces starts in Philly. Grew up in the suburbs. She knew she wanted to be in television. The goal? CBS Sunday morning. I only applied to Temple. I got into Temple, their radio, television, and film program. It was my dream. Temple turned out to be a bit much for Michelle, but in 1986, her path hit a curve with a diagnosis. That was the year that I found out that I have a form of muscular dystrophy called myasthenia gravis. It's actually called the snowflake disease, which is why I wear a snowflake necklace all the time. So you can line up 100 of us, and we might have something similar, but no two are the same. From Temple, she went to Montgomery County Community College, then jumped to Cabrini College. So I'm now in my fifth year of school. I had probably about 12 credits left, and I was offered a job that would change my life, and that was at QVC. It's because we've got something new today. From there, just things kept going with my career, and school went on the backside. But that's only one line in Michelle's life. Only so much of a person's history can fit on a resume. And we can't continue this story without mentioning an unexpected skill of Michelle's, billiards. I had to go to Georgia Tech and compete in the Association of College Unions International Tournament. And that's where I took 12th in the world as a college female pool player. It's something she kept up with in a move to Denver. That's the first time I get introduced to the American Pool Players Association. Then Denver to Tennessee. He said, hey, Michelle, you should go buy the franchise in Nashville. And I was like, where's Nashville? And then I said, OK. And I did. She ran it up until her son was born. And that brings us back to the pages of the resume, working at a variety of spots. If you haven't gotten this by now, Michelle is a woman constantly reinventing herself. Not that I'm dissatisfied with anything. I just like to try things. And like I said, there's a little bit of confidence. Like, I can do that. And that confidence took her back to school through Tennessee Reconnect, an initiative that works with adults and gets them back to higher education. She got her associate's degree at Volunteer State Community College. But she didn't stop there and ended up following her son's footsteps to Tennessee Tech. I uh, got the bachelor's in December of 22. Now she's working on her master's. I will finish that this summer. And then I applied, fingers crossed, uh, to start the PhD program here in higher education leadership. Hopefully adding a couple more lines to her ever expanding life. Reporting for News Channel 5, I'm Cole Johnson. And she is not done. On top of all that, Michelle also wrote a book called Invisible Illness, a leadership guide to normalizing the discussion of invisible illness in the workplace.